I'm back. So I did want to um, still talk about dental, obviously, to you guys. But um, more importantly, I wanted to cover um, six reasons why you should delay your dental work. And the first one I'm actually going to talk about is one is compromise um, oral health. It's very important that you keep your oral health up to date. That means like you're brushing two times a day, you're going to get your regular teeth cleanings. Um, some dental insurance programs allow for you to do um, two cleanings per year. And typically people do them routinely like every six months. And then we have other um, programs like uh, discount programs that actually allow you to have unlimited visits and services such as teeth cleanings. Also, um, the second thing is you don't want to compromise um, your physical health. Um, a lot of times when we think about dental, we don't think about how it actually affects our overall health, our body. Um, and just to give you an example, I've actually had um, someone who was a client who needed um, dental coverage. Um, and they actually needed to get uh, open heart surgery. But in, in order for them to actually get the surgery, they actually had to get all of their dental work up to date which was mind-blowing first time i ever heard of that and so a lot of times you will see people or you may not even know a lot of times people are having to get their dental up to par getting everything worked on making sure that they have the fillings everything done before they can actually go and actually get surgery done so that's the second thing that you want to make sure that you would not delay um your dental work for plus all of your teeth have, are connected to your nervous system. So it's very important when you have um, a broken tooth or you have an abscess, whatever you may have going on in your mouth will overall affect your body as well. The third thing is greater pain and more extensive work. I cannot tell you the, how many times I've speak to people over and over again and they have waited so long to get their dental work done. And for some reason, the longer they wait, the more money they have to actually pay out versus by taking advantage of a plan um, and actually being able to break the work down into like small increments and getting everything done over a period of time. That would be my recommendation for anybody who has like a large dental bill and they have to get everything caught up break it down into small increments and just do a little bit at a time so that you don't take any um, food off the table and basically you'll be able to afford it. But do not wait because it is statistics and it's also proven that you will be in greater pain and you will have more, you have to do more work versus you just going ahead and getting that filling done. Now you have to get a filling. Some people have to get a crown, a bridge and so on and so forth. The fourth thing would be a great expense, which is what I just talked about in number three, more money out of your pocket. I've seen people who've had, actually had to go to the bank and get a loan, um, apply for credit cards, just in order to be able to get their dental work up to par to where they can actually get regular maintenance. So make sure that you are keeping track, staying on point with your dental care. The, four, uh, the number five would be um, compromised physical appearance. I've seen it to the point where people have compromised their physical health. They have waited and they had a lot of extensive work done to the point where they literally had to get all of their teeth pulled. There was nothing else to be done. The teeth were rotten. I mean, the gum, they had major gum disease. So can you imagine what your face would look like if you didn't have any teeth? I've seen it. Your jaws are basically sunken in. So you don't want that to happen. Plus, you don't want your jaw to be swollen either when you're trying to work or you're trying to speak to people. So I would say that is a huge priority. But the most important thing I would say would be number six, which would be the negative effect to self-esteem. I've seen so many people talk to me like this and they're like, hey, yeah. And so when they go to lab, they're like covering their mouth. And so it's a huge, um, a huge effect on, it's a, it has a huge effect, excuse me, on your overall self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, how you feel when you go up to speak to other people. Are they looking at my mouth? Are they looking at my teeth? Do they notice that my teeth are not well taken care of? All of those things, psychological. So I would say um, if you have an option, let's say for the person that doesn't have um, dental coverage, you don't have dental insurance, go and seek out uh, affordable 
dental coverage, a dental plan, basically. And it's like $25. That would be an average cost for a great plan that could cover everything. But make sure that it covers cosmetics because if you fall in any one of these six categories, you may have to pay... Um, more money and also you may have to get some type of cosmetic work done outside of your more routine work like your teeth cleanings and your x-rays and your or exams and just those type of things so i would recommend that you go look and shop around for an option that is affordable for you in the meantime um, versus not having anything at all if you do have traditional insurance and let's say you fall into one of those categories where it's a loophole I would recommend that you get a supplementary, which would be a great discount program that could help supplement and fill in the gaps of your traditional insurance. Plus, I would ask you and I would charge you to go and do your homework. A lot of people do not know what they have until a situation like that I just went over comes up and then they find out they really don't have anything. So my top six reasons why you should not delay your dental work be proactive people see you guys later hey ma i'm on tv <laughs>